Hello, my name is Eddie Tofpik. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Service International Limited. And here is your weekly technical analysis of New York and London coffee markets. New York coffee. The pattern construction that led to the market moving higher, starting between mid-March to early May, was a dark blue highlighted bullish shift pitchfork. This pitchfork is still operational with the market today utilizing the middle tie, currently at 257 and three quarters, as a base for the latest leap higher. I will go into the very recent action shortly, but first I'd like to highlight some other larger and longer term patterns. In this, I must discuss the large, bright red, April today ascending wedge pattern, currently 232 and a quarter to 262.85. This pattern has been biding its time since late spring until today, when we have seen a significant push up over the upper trend line. I'd also like to discuss this in a little while as I have one more pattern to highlight and that is the new early August to early September purple highlighted bullish Andrews pitchfork. On this last one, the market is currently in between the purple middle tine below, which is currently at 261.05. We're quite close to it at the moment and the purple upper tine above, currently at 277.85. No, so say we're close, quite close to the uh, middle tine. I'm wondering if today is actually going to be a shooting star pattern. Bullish or bearish, we'll find out in due course. Okay, so to break higher today, up and out of the bright red, large ascending wedge pattern is the key event. If this break higher is sustained, which does not really look like it right now. So, but if it does, then we would have a primary target X in the 307.40 area, which is the, which is at the moment above the high of my current daily chart. We'd also have a secondary harder to reach target X1 up in the 333.55 area. An area that is very high up off the top of my daily chart. It all matters if this what looks like now an important break higher, potentially an important break higher, whether this move up is sustained or not. If it is, then the pressure will be on. First off, on the untested purple, quite acute upper time, currently at 277.85, in possibly the very short term. In the longer term, it will be the dark blue upper time, currently at 287.05. They also have in the way the congestion at 285.20 and a September 2011 high at 291.05 by so I suspect all eyes will be on whether this market has the legs to reach target X and X1. In truth, there is enough ammunition below to give prices a good try at reaching them, but it all depends on this move up being sustained, and that is a big question mark at the moment. London Coffee. Prices made a peak in late April and low in early May that set up the opportunity for me to draw 12 weeks ago bullish Andrews pitchhawk for the late February to early May action. Now, six weeks ago, because of the market actions, I finessed this bullish Andrews pitchhawk into a shallower bullish shift pitchhawk for the same move. I will now likely retire it before next week's commentary given the recent market actions. Now, we did see the upper time currently at 49.13 tested in mid-July, but it held and then again for a while two and three weeks ago, sort of. But in the middle of last week, prices closed well above the upper time, and that was that. Now, another pattern to emerge, highlighted in bright red, is the late April, early September, quite large ascending wedge pattern, currently 42.40 to 49.78. The lower up trend has been further reinforced by the rising medium moving average, um, which is currently at 42.40, whilst the upper trend line had the benefit of being just above the dark blue upper time. 
Additionally, and this is a key to showing how we've gotten to where we are today, had been the weekly key reversals up seen in the first full week of August. Now this weekly key reversal up in the first full week of August led to the creation of another pattern, an August-based purple highlighted bull channel, since morphing and finessing into an early August to date rising expanding wedge pattern, 2049.37 to 5600. This in turn led to another pattern, a monthly key reversal up we saw in August. Thus, you can see that there was not only a lot of concentrated into that 4682, 5148 area, but that each pattern has a link to another and another, and together they helped prices ride higher. Thus, for the large bright red ascending wedge pattern, we have a primary target X in the 6029 area and a secondary, harder, much harder to reach target X1 up in the 6657 area. Both of these targets are above my current daily chart. To finish off with today's action, well it was now testing the recent 100% projected Fibonacci line, uh, 5440 having last Friday based itself on the 50% projected Fibonacci line for the same move at 5061 and then obviously successfully moved higher from there. My only issue is that today is a shooting star pattern at the moment and the question is whether it's a shooting star pattern type 1 bearish or a shooting star pattern type 2 bullish. Thank you for listening. This weekly broadcast gives the essential market patterns and consequences. Please be aware of the risk disclaimer posted both at the front and at the back of this broadcast. Copyright is Eddie Tofpik and ADM Investor Service International Limited. And here comes the final important bit. Thank you for listening. This weekly broadcast gives the essential market patterns and consequences. Please be aware of the risk disclaimer posted both at the front and at the back of this broadcast. Copyright is Eddie Tofpik and ADM Investor Service International Limited. And here comes the final important bit.